2016 was, as Oda put it, the year of Sanji, the Whole Cake Island arc. For the first time in a long time, we had strong character development for a non-Luffy straw hat. But that arc was followed up with the Wano arc, where Roro Noa Zoro has been collecting all the Ws. And as far as future arcs go, Elbaf is pretty much a guarantee. A place that Usopp has wanted to go from the moment he met the Giants on Little Garden. And definitely an arc where Usopp will get a lot of shine. So that makes three out of the four straw hats from the East Blue Saga that are getting their own arc. So what about Nami? Well, I personally believe Nami's arc will come in the arc surrounding Lodestar. And in this video, I'm going to explain why. But first off, if you're new to the channel or not yet subscribed, make sure you're subscribed with the notifications turned on to make sure you're getting your consistent dose of One Piece content and drop a like if you're having a good time. But yeah, for Nami's arc, the first question I think we have to address is why does Nami need an arc in the first place? Wasn't that Arlong Park? Well, first off, there is this pattern that I just described in the intro where it looks like all the East Blue Straw Hats are getting their own arc. But at the same time, there's been counter arguments that Wano is not Zoro's arc and Elbaf is not even gonna happen. But I think when we closely look at the pattern of the story and how exactly Oda treats the East Blue Straw Hats, I think it's pretty evident that each of them are getting another arc where they're getting more shine. I believe Mr. Morge made a video a while back on this as well. I'll link it in the description below. But his argument in that video was that Laugh Tale was gonna be Nami's arc. And I'll address why I don't think so a little later. But as far as this recent pattern, obviously it started with Whole Cake Island, and that arc was very clearly an arc where Sanji also had the spotlight. First off, the reason we went to Whole Cake Island in the first place was because of Sanji. And of course, in that arc, Sanji got a whole flashback about his backstory. We learned more about his family and childhood, but at the end of the day, he was also the one to save the day with the wedding cake. Also, Oda straight up came out and said that was gonna be the year of Sanji. So I think there's really no argument that Whole Cake Island was definitely focused on Sanji. But with Zoro and Wano, there's been a lot of pushback of people saying Wano is not Zoro's arc. Oda hasn't came out and said anything, so it's not the same as Sanji. But I think when you look at what Zoro has done in Wano and the amount of screen time that he's gotten, it's very clearly that Wano is focused on Zoro. Is Wano an entire arc dedicated to Zoro? Obviously not. But for sure, Zoro has gotten a lot more focus in this arc as opposed to other arcs. The arc literally started with him cutting an entire building with a small ass knife. In terms of screen time, he's also been the second most focused on character besides Luffy. He's also really the only other straw hat that made some really strong connections in Wano. Not only was he there with Luffy when he saw the scene with Tama, but he also developed a relationship with Yasuie and Hiori, giving him story connections and more reasons to kill people like Kaido and Orochi. On top of that, he literally got the blade of Kozuki Odin, the person that started this mission in the first place. The whole reason the scabbers and the people of Wano are doing this is because they're carrying on Odin's will. And before Zoro even had Emma, he had Shusui, the blade of Ryuma. So he already had a connection to Wano pre time skip before we even had a reason to go here. And we could go even further back than that because the village he was born in, the Shimotsuki village, was a village established by Shimotsuki Kozaboro, a legendary swordsmith from Wano. And I don't want to spoil any anime onlys, but Zoro has been racking up some big W's. And guess what? He's gonna get a lot more because so far it's been very clear that Oda is giving a lot of attention to Zoro in Wano. I mean, I thought that was gonna be obvious when we were going to a country of swordsmen and we have a guy trying to become the strongest swordsman. But anyways, to me, it's also very clear that Wano is an arc where Zoro's getting extra focus. So that's already two out of the four East Blue Straw Hats. And as far as Usopp goes, we know he's gonna go to Elbaf. From the moment he met Dory and Bragi and heard about their duel and the culture of Elbaf, he was incredibly inspired and he absolutely needs to go to Elbaf and Elbaf has to happen. And of course, Elbaf has continuously been brought up throughout the story later on as well. For some reason, some people still don't think Elbaf is gonna happen. At that point, I don't know what to tell you besides stop reading two-piece. These comments been triggering me recently, god damn. <laughs> But yeah, with that said, that is three of the East Blue Straw Hats that will all get an arc that is dedicated to them. So that leaves us with only Nami left, and she is absolutely not gonna get left out. Because first off, there's multiple reasons as to why Oda is giving these East Blue Straw Hats a second arc in the first place. One reason for sure is that they didn't get as much development as some of the other Straw Hats that got pretty much entire arcs dedicated to them. Frankie and Water 7, Robin and Amy's Lobby, Brooke and Thriller Bark, and even Chopper and Drum Island. The East Blue Straw Hats on the other 
other hand got all their shine in the East Blue Saga, which as a whole is the same length as Dressrosa. So Oda giving them a second arc here could be kind of making up for that, but at the same time, he also just loves the East Blue Straw Hats. They're the ones that are always in the forefront and consistently get more screen time, and it makes sense because they were the first Straw Hats that Oda really came up with conceptually. And out of all the East Blue Straw Hats, Oda for sure is not gonna leave out Nami. Even out of all the East Blue Straw Hats, she got the most development in the East Blue Saga with Arlong Park. The majority of females in the story also look like Nami, and Oda's wife literally played Nami in a Jump Festa performance. So clearly Nami's not gonna get left out here and not get her own arc. So with that out of the way, let's talk about Lodestar and why I think that will be Nami's arc. And well, first off, some of you might have even forgotten about Lodestar and saw the title and be like, what the hell is Lodestar? And honestly, I don't blame you because it was only mentioned once very recently. But that doesn't mean Lodestar isn't an important island. As a matter of fact, for the majority of the story, it was the destination we were trying to reach. Lodestar was actually the island we thought Laugh Tale was. It's the final island on the log post. The island at the end of the Grand Line where all the paths cross. Hey, Aaron, get out of here. It's not your story. But yeah, Lodestar is what the log post leads to if you just keep going island to island. And that's exactly where we were going before we found out about the road Poneglyphs in Zo. And Zo was when it was revealed that to actually get to Laugh Tale, you need to get all four road Poneglyphs in order to create a map to find the point that leads to Laugh Tale. Now, this information absolutely made sense because it explained why nobody has been able to get to Laugh Tale because in order to do so, they have to go up against Big Mom and Kaido to get to the road Poneglyphs. And for the Straw Hats, this shift in this information made sense because now it gave them a reason to go after the Yonko. But at the same time, I don't think that means they could just neglect Lodestar. Because first and foremost, this was a goal we've been going after for pretty much the entire story. Just going island to island, following that log post, eventually getting to that final point. And honestly, some people, myself included, kind of miss that element of the story, where we don't know which island is coming next and we have that exploration and mysterious, adventurous feel. So I don't think Oda is just gonna neglect that aspect of the story, especially when we look at the characters and their dreams. Luffy as the captain wants the freedom to explore and go on adventures, there's no way he's gonna bypass Lodestar. Nami on the other hand wants to make a map of the world so she can't neglect Lodestar either. So eventually the crew has to go there and I don't think that's gonna come in like an epilogue really quickly. Because when we found out more info about this island from Roger in the Odin flashback, Roger revealed that his group were the first to reach that island in history. And as far as we know, nobody else has reached that island ever since. Now this is incredibly interesting because Laugh Tale, why nobody else has gotten to it makes a lot of sense. To do so, you have to take on the Yonko and get the Poneglyphs and find one in Zo and there's one missing still. So it makes sense why nobody's been able to do that, but why were the Roger Pirates the only one to reach Lodestar? So there's some mystery to that that has to be answered and if the Roger Pirates did it, the Straw Hats have to do it as well. On top of that, there were some hints dropped about what's actually on Lodestar as well because it wasn't until the Roger Pirates got to Lodestar that they realized there's another island after it. Inurashi even confirmed this himself saying that once you reach the final point, you come to some realization about the Poneglyphs and other stuff. And the final thing that ties this all together is that the Straw Hats went on this path of following the log pose because of Crocus. And Crocus was a person on the Roger Pirates and actually went to Lodestar. So he clearly sent them on this path knowing that going to Lodestar is important to them. And Eden Arashi even backs this idea saying that Crocus definitely had a reason to tell you guys to go to Lodestar. And to top it all off, even after we found out about the road Poneglyph information in Zo, Inu Arashi even said to Nami, you are still on the right path and continue on your way. So Lodestar, despite how little we know of it, is still critical to the story and we absolutely must go. But now this gets us to our final question of why exactly will Lodestar be Nami's arc? Well, first off, Nami is obviously the navigator and a lot of the shine that she's gotten in the story is when they're discovering new islands and figuring out where to go. The moments like going up Reverse Mountain or going to Skypea, Nami always gets the most shine during those moments. And well, reaching Lodestar could be another one of those moments where she gets to shine as a navigator for numerous reasons. So one of the most essential parts of Nami's character so far is the fact that she's guiding the Straw Hats. And well, the thing that has been guiding Nami this whole time is the log pose. Pretty much after they met Crocus, her one guide has been that log pose and following where it goes. And it's very closely tied to her. It's literally attached on her wrist. It's part of her actual character design. No matter how many times she changes her clothes, the log pose is still there. Oda could have easily just made this a compass that they pull out. Instead, he attached it to Nami's character. So I think following the log pose and reaching that final destination 
mentioned that its lodestar is actually pretty important to Nami. Like, although Laugh Tale is the final destination they're trying to go to, I think it's going to be a pretty important moment for Nami when they get to lodestar. Because that was really the place she was trying to reach this whole time as she's looking at this log post. There's still much more to explore, but I feel like reaching lodestar could be a moment for Nami where she can really feel some accomplishment. And of course, the other element is the mystery of why nobody else has been able to get to lodestar. And in this case, it's not the same as Laugh Tale where nobody knows where it is, which means there must be some kind of crazy barrier or challenge that nobody could pass besides the Roger Pirates. And if that is the case, the person to take charge and take lead would be Nami. So eventually when we do go to Lodestar, Nami could be in the forefront right off the bat. And when we actually get to Lodestar, there should be some information that's connected to Laugh Tale and give some hints. Who knows, maybe the final road Poneglyph is there or it gives some hints about where it is. Maybe she can even figure out a way to get to Laugh Tale without the last Poneglyph. Either way, there's a lot of opportunity there for Nami to stay in charge and like take control and take lead. Now I want to quickly address Mr. Morge's argument that Laugh Tale is Nami's arc. I think a lot of our arguments are pretty similar, but for me personally, I think if Lodestar is an individual arc, that arc has to be an arc where Nami gets a ton of shine. But a scenario I could also see is that maybe Lodestar and Laugh Tale are connected and it's all one arc together. If that's the case, Loki were kind of both right. But if Lodestar and Laugh Tale are separate arcs, I absolutely see Lodestar as Nami's arc. Because if the two are separated, you could have Nami's arc be Lodestar and Laugh Tale, I think it would make sense to be Luffy's arc. Now I know pretty much the entire story is Luffy's arc. He gets the most development. He doesn't need a dedicated arc. But when the Straw Hats finally reach Laugh Tale, sure, Nami's gonna play a big role, but so are a lot of the Straw Hats. Frankie's gonna play a big role because of the Thousand Sunny. Jinbei's probably gonna be doing some crazy things in navigation. Robin might accomplish her dream there. We might get information about the all blue. All the straw hats are gonna get a ton of shine, but the straw hat that's gonna get the most shine is Luffy because he will become the Pirate King. So not only will Nami have a hard time standing out in a Laugh Tale arc because other straw hats are also getting a lot of attention, but Laugh Tale for Luffy, even though he's the main character and he gets a lot of shine throughout the entire story, it could be an arc where Luffy gets some extra attention in terms of his character development. He's finally gonna accomplish the dream that he set out to do ever since he was a little kid. And the focus here for Luffy is not so much screen time, it's more so a deeper look at his character that we don't often get. And if you want to cap off this pattern of the East Blue Straw Hats getting their individual arc, Laugh Tale being Luffy's arc would be a perfect way to tie it all together. But yeah, those are my thoughts on Lodestar being Nami's arc. I definitely want to hear your thoughts on this. Do you agree or disagree? Let me know in the comments below. But as always, thank you guys for watching. If you had a good time, drop a like for the YouTube algorithm. Make sure you subscribe with the notifications turned on so you don't miss an upload. Thank you all to my King Pirates Elite members on YouTube and Patreon for supporting the channel. Check me out on Twitter. I'm DZach and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.